So it's been 12 years since we've owned this RV and my curiosity is getting to me. I got to thinking about the fact that I've, I've babied this RV and I've always changed the oil every 3,000 to 3,500 miles. And I got to wondering if it's really paying off or not. I was curious as to what kind of sludge I might have, if any, in the valve cover. And I thought that would make for an interesting video. You can see here out of my records, like when we first got this back in January of 2012, you can see by the by the schedule out of the workhorse manual that tells you to change it every 3,000 miles and, and page after page that's what I've done for 12 years changing all you know running 10w30 instead of the um, well I think it recommends 530 but I've always ran you can see I've always ran 1030 I avoid cold climates so I think that's it's it served for served me well so I got to thinking about what it would take to pull the valve cover off and just to take a peek in there. And it doesn't look like it'd be much of a challenge. Um, all we need is a 10 millimeter socket. In fact, uh, I've already reached down to just, I was kind of curious to how tight these would be. And I was actually kind of surprised they really wasn't that tight. It didn't take much effort at all to, to break them free. So we just need to break these free, pull off these two connectors. Let's see, you've got these little blue safety clips here. It keeps them from coming undone. Now this connector here, if you don't know, this is for our uh, water uh, water temperature sending unit. That's what that goes to, so we can pull that off. Get that done. We got this one here. And this is for, this is for the ignition coils. I can just get it to come loose. There we go. All right. Just get that harness out of the way. All right, let's pull up these four, four plug wires. Remember, these are good blue Brazzle spark plug wires I put on some years ago. They're really good wires. Solid core, stainless steel. I recommend anybody, if uh, you're having any kind of uh, engine issues, like with tall fuel trims and stuff like that, just to get a, give it a good tune up. Get you some AC4101 spark plugs, get you a new mass airflow sensor, get rid of those stock spark plug wires, get these solid core stainless steel zero resistant wires. And uh, that will usually get your fuel trims back in, in, in place. Get you a lot better running engine. And there it goes. A little snug doing it with one hand. All right, so we got that done. Okay, so. Um, Right, Sweepy, you gonna be my camera person? Mm -hmm. yeah, Sweepy's holding the camera for me. Got me a 10 millimeter socket, a little wobble, wobble joint on it. Oh, this is nice, Sweepy. In the world, two hands instead of one. Fingers in the way just a little bit, honey. Oh, sorry. It's okay. This new camera, it's got the lens right at the edge. It's easy to do. Okay. I held in it pretty good. Must be a good rubber seal on there. It's dragging on that shoulder. All right, let's find a clean spot to put these. But there's a good spot. I'm assuming there's a large O-ring on this valve cover. And so uh, I hope it don't tear nothing. Have to order stuff and order a gasket. We'll soon find out. What you laughing at, honey? Arrows on the hoses. <laughs> oh, you like my arrows on the hoses? <laughs> Why do you think that's funny, huh? Well, I want to know which way the water's flowing. What do you think those arrows meant? I know what they meant. Huh? I knew what they meant. Oh, you know what they meant. Yeah. Okay. You just knew I was too dumb to remember which way no. the water flows. Yeah. No, 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 no. <sighs> All right. 
Okay, all the screws are out. Now, how tight is this going to be, sweet pea? Do we know? Can you see? Yeah, but okay, let me get this all out of here. All right. I'll give you a better view. All right. Are you ready, sweet pea? Is, is, is this like Christmas or what? Does it feel like Christmas to you? <laughs> this is like Christmas to me. This is great stuff. And this, oh, look, I think this is this is a was built in 2004. This yeah. is the first time these lifters have seen light of day. The very first time in all these years. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, yeah, Merry Christmas. You should be excited. It's like like uh, what was that uh, like a tomb? You open it up for the very first time. All right, let's see what we see. Ta da! Whoa, look at that sweet V. You see what I see? I see nothing. No sludge whatsoever. It's clean. Isn't that awesome? That's what I was hoping for. So it just shows the, shows you when you take care of your baby. You have nice clean parts inside. Look at those lifters. What do you think about those sweet pea? <laughs> you like those? Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. You want to touch one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, touch, 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 touch his oil. Put his oil on you. Want some of this? I guess not. She gave me a look. You all know what I'm talking about. Oh, that looks nice. I wonder what would happen if I started it like this, Sweet Pea. I could get Sweet Pea under the RV with a camera while I start it. And we can see what happens. Oh, oh! I got hit. I got hit for that one. Alright, let me do a little more look in here. I'm really, really pleased with what I'm seeing. Alright, <clears throat> I just turned the light on, on my camera. I want you to get a really good look at this. I just can't believe, after 75,000 miles since 2005, how crystal clean this valve cover is absolutely no sludge whatsoever you know and all the, the rocker arms look so good so if you've ever was wondering about being on the fence about changing oil every 3,000 miles maybe this will convince you I'm gonna try to find some examples of other 8.1s that's been torn down and see kind of see what they look like I also have always been running a 180 degree therm thermostat and I don't know how that would, if that would play an effect on sludge buildup or not. You would think a little bit cooler temperatures. Well, actually, I think it was too cool. Maybe I don't know which way that plays out. Uh, but I guess too much heat could cook the oil and make it cause sludge. But I know the biggest factor I think is just not changing oil and it breaks down and gets all sludged up. But that is one good looking eight point one Vortec. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, when I took this off, I was a little bit concerned. And when I, I, did, I didn't video that part, but before I removed this, I took me some brake cleaner and sprayed really good around here, around the, around the screws. Because you want to be a bit, be concerned when you lift that cover off, any dirt that's laying up here will drop down into the into the engine. So I was kind of, I was diligent about getting that good and clean before I lifted the cover off. And then when I did, there was a little bit of grit I could see it hanging here I wanted to drop in I took me a, 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 a shop vac and sucked up the loose dirt to make sure nothing would fall in there when I go to reassemble it but I am very pleased looks good looks good so now you know if you need to check an engine out it doesn't take just a few minutes to pull the valve cover and because of this large rubber o-ring you can just reuse it with, without any issues I don't believe should not be a problem at all I like it I like it so you may not know this, but the 8.1 will actually run on just one bank. So you see I've got all the coils disconnected. I'm going to start this up and show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to get some codes I'll have to clear afterward.
I'm just checking how much oil, I'm checking how much oil we have in each lifter. That was real dry, isn't it? Course my fuel trims went crazy because because I've created this massive vacuum leak uh, all that unmetered air going into the engine uh, you can see here bank 2 fuel trims totally maxed out at 24 let me turn that light off uh, you know bank 1 is high at 12.5 let's see what other kind of codes we got let's go to scan we should have got all kinds of them because all the coils were unplugged, the um, temperature sensor was unplugged. See what all comes up. Mine is still pending. Oh, I got went to, went to sleep on me. Turn the key. Turn the key back on. Wake up, there it goes. Okay, let's dismiss that. Go away, go away. Okay, yep, so there we go. Our engine coolant temperature, circuit high. One five. Ignition coil primary B. Ignition coil D, F, H. I guess that's it. Five, five codes. All right, let me do it again. That should be all. Okay, and see them all. Okay, it's back. Let's clear them. Clear the codes. There we go. Everything's happy now. But yeah, when I first started up, I was kind of surprised it, it took just about a minute or so before I started seeing oil coming into the lifters because I've never really been into an engine like this before I'm assuming that's normal it just takes a while for them to pump up no more than 60 seconds or so I started seeing oil flowing pretty good been pretty pleased with what I'm seeing so far alright Sweepy's got the camera again can you see everything good? Mm -hmm. alright let's just reassemble this and see if it'll start and run again of course the key here is not to get no dirt in that pretty new engine. Well, it's not a new engine, but it looks like new, doesn't it, Sweet Pea? Mm-hmm. We could eat off that, couldn't we? Bon appetit. <laughs> well, look, just imagine this filled with spaghetti. Mm-mm-mm. Good stuff. All right, just be gentle. Do it right, Sweet Pea. <laughs> help me, Sweet Pea, help me. You want to do this part and I can hold the camera. <laughs> yeah, right. You okay, Sweet Pea? Are you stretching? You got those little short dinosaur arms. Bless you with a heart. Oh, you bet got a foot curl. Oh, those are fun. What you laughing at? You do that little thing with your mouth. Oh, I know. Because <laughs> I'm constipating. Just like Dad used to do. Alright, 
this kind of started right now. I'm going to go ahead and plug up my coils and I'll go back around and get them all snug. I don't have a torque wrench with me, but a friend of mine does, so I'll get his torque wrench before we leave and put the final torque on it. But uh, all right, all we left to do is just plug up this harness. And you got all your other stuff plugged up. Yep, I got all my sparky plug wires to plug up. Plug up our temperature sense sending unit. Well, sweet Pete, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Alright, now put that little back in there. Like that. And in there. Can't come unplugged. Can't come unplugged. All right, let's put plug the wires. You want to put put a plug, plug wire on Sweet Pea, huh? <laughs> I'll let you. I can do it if you want me to. You know I'm not afraid. You're not afraid of it, are you? No. All right, let me get you two spark plug wires and get, I'll get them up here for you. All right, there's one. There's two. All right, we Santa's a little helper. All right. Reach in there and put those spark plug wires on for me, sweet pea. Yeah, you would let them be the farthest one away. Well, yeah, stretch those little arms out. It's got those little dinosaur arms. Oh, good job. Awesome possum. Oh, foot. What's the matter? Are you stuck? <laughs> Counterweighted across that chair. <laughs> you couldn't get back up. <laughs> that was too funny, sweet pea. Oh, God, that hurt. All right, all right behave. i got to finish my video. Lord have mercy. People ain't got time to watch your nonsense. All right, uh, did, did I say... Oh, yeah, we're going to see if we'll start and run again. All right, plug wires. Everything's connected back up. Oh. You okay? I guess it is not broke. Lord, I'm... Knocked the phone out of my hand. Is it still recording? I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, still works. Thank goodness. Oh, you reach over and start started up, honey. Truck, we're good. She sounds good. You fix it, sweet pea. Woo! All right. Well, you see here, I got my torque wrench. I just, I just did the final torque on the valve cover bolts. And in case you're wondering, in case you do yours, they torque to 106 inch pounds. But uh, again, I was very pleased with what I found. You remember this? This engine is 20 years old, 75,000 miles, and I was really impressed how clean it was inside. Of course, for its whole life, we've been running Mobile One uh, oil in it, 10W30. So, um, very, very pleased, very pleased. So, hopefully, you're changing your oil every 3,000 miles also. Some people do, some people don't. But that's it's just what I do, and that's what the manual says to do. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe you'll tear into your valve cover and let me, let me know what you see. Send me some pictures if you do. I'd be kind of curious to see if, uh, if anyone's out, out there. In fact, I might get on YouTube, see if I can find some examples of other engines tore down, see what they look like on the valve covers. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day. See you, bye.